All right, what's going on? It's your girl Lala Shepherds. This is the Progress Support. Boss Brit the Most Lit. What's up? It's your girl DJ Excel. We got our next guest in the building. Go ahead and introduce yourself. What's up, y'all? It's your girl Remarkable, and Remarkable? I'm here with the Progress Support. What's what poppin'? Thank y'all for having me. The orange, orange. you got the man. fall orange. Yes. The lion orange queen, orange. right? The lion queen. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. The lion yes. queen. Thank you. Seeing okay. there with all kind of animals. <laughs> 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 kissing the elephant and all kind of shit. I was kissing the elephant. I was. So why do you why are you called the lion queen? Let's let's start. Um, I just love lions. Just what lions represent um mm-hmm. they represent power unity um it's 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 just way deeper than just their beauty facts and then it's something that as I, I feel as though god put us on this earth to govern the planet and we fucking part of our yeah we fucking it up. up part yes. of our job is to take care of them and we don't got enough people voicing for the animals so that's true that's something that i do on the regular one, one last question about lion that's king did you like the new lion king <laughs> i did i didn't i didn't like Still um you didn't see yeah, it yeah. Lala, come on y'all need come, come on y'all um, we gotta go then okay. come on i'll go see it again i want to go okay we okay. can go but what didn't you like? you like oh i didn't like um i felt like the the first Simba from the, the mm. kid Simba from Lion King. He hit them notes like crazy from the first cartoon. Compared to the second. Compared to the second one. Now he could sing, okay. but okay. So I thought he did. Good. She's so the you know queen, the, know what it is. Okay. okay. She over. <laughs> so you know the kid that played Michael Jackson in the American. You know. Okay. Yeah. So he was the voice of the first Simba. Okay. Okay. I didn't know so that. He can, yeah. Okay, so okay. I think that his voice was a little bit better. I was just expecting like certain mm. notes to be hit. I'm like, uh, okay. it was there, but it wasn't there. Yeah. So okay. like that's that's not. That easy neither nah. that's so no easy especially notes. being a kid yeah, right, right. Yeah. that's hard being, being a, kid. a kid yeah so shout but, out to both of them but tell them what you do because we just introduced you as the lion queen. queen i know right <laughs> they, they, like, sound like, like, and they you got animals. hunter then you got the army for teeth the, <laughs> the, the, the hunter uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. i'm confused yeah. with both right. let them know what you do <laughs> i'm a rapper so oh. that's what that's what i do that's what i really do but i'm a speaker i'm a i'm a person that i'm an influencer so not an influencer like oh she on instagram she popping like I influence people by what I talk about, mm. who I am, what I do. So that's who I am. That's dope. Dope, dope, dope. Well, okay, back to lions. Are you a Leo by chance? I'm or? not. I'm an Aries. Interesting. Yes. I got a lion tattoo on my stomach, so I fuck with the symbolism of what lions represent, too. You're not a Leo. I'm not. Okay, cool. Okay. <laughs> I just oh, like, no, I'm not a Leo. Not a Leo. You know, okay. Like okay. I just Leos. always get that. I be like, no, nah, I'm an Aries, like, just because I like lions. So. For sure. So I'm supposed to like rams. That's what I'm supposed to. I'm supposed to like. That's it. what the Aries is. Yeah, they are in. Oh, what about like by the like, horns? What the fuck am I Crab. set up to like? Crab. Crab. Okay. All right, Mr. Crab. Right. All right. <laughs> you gotta relax. Okay, you so got. music, rapping, and all that good stuff, and also too, you was on um, growing up hip hop Atlanta. Let's right? go backstory. Yeah. Let's okay. Just you, give you a whole yeah, introduction not, real quick. Give us the official. Go ahead. Go. Dang, I gotta do this again. What's you up? Gotta do the, you gotta do it. I'm saying like. You I'm saying like. Tell us. You know. Like where you came from? Okay, where, you know. um, well, I was born and raised in the A, I'm from the East Side. Okay, grew up in Decatur, Kirkwood area. Too. Okay, um, went to Towers High School, graduated. Okay, Towers. Towers Titan. Shout out to my school on Glenwood. Okay, we were some roughnecks. Um, <laughs> so yeah, um, but I'm proud to be a Tower Titan. God damn it. Okay, it, it it really helped me be who I am, um, because we didn't we didn't have much, you know, mm-hmm. and um, growing up I didn't have much. Contrary to what people believe, because of who my father is, that's another thing. My father is legendary. The Eazy-E. fucking legend. Um, Easy, easy. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You just going to just because my daddy, yeah. so I be like, it's my daddy. But yeah. I get it. Like Eazy-E. I gotta get used to that. And people be like, wait, hold on, pause. I'm like, that's daddy. Like yeah. that's just what I remember. Really I was in one year for Halloween. I'm gonna show you. For real? They salad just that like that was funny as fuck. I, I had a drink on that. That was for funny. Yeah, yeah. Had I had a Raiders hat on. It yeah. was funny. Yeah, you, I got to show you. That was really cool. That's cool. But yeah, so um, my father's a legend. I didn't grow up with my dad's side. Mm-hmm. I grew up, like I said, here in Atlanta. So I'm not from Cali. A lot of people think I'm from Cali. Mm. Not from Cali. I'm from the A. Um, and again, like I said, I struggled. I didn't really have what you would think a celebrity child would have. Mm-hmm. I grew up in out of system. Uh, I've been homeless, been starved, and slept outside like mm. on some real shit. Um, had I had a son, um, my son is ten years old. I had him when I was sixteen. Okay. So mm-hmm. I've you know, I grew up fast. Mm. I had my own little spot when I was like 16. I had no choice, and now I take care of pretty much my whole mom's and immediate family. So, like, my brothers, my sister, my mama, and what I do with my music is how I feed them, feed myself. That's dope. Can I ask you, how old How old were you when he passed? I was not even two yet. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. So, that's that right there helps the perception <laughs> right, of right, everything. Right, right, right. You know yeah. what I mean? So, um, 
I don't know, like, after he passed, like, you didn't benefit, like, you didn't get any profits mm. or anything. No, nah, because to be real, when it comes down to my father's death, um, it's a lot of controversy about yeah. that, too. Because mm. a lot of people believe that, you know, he was just promiscuous and ended up getting AIDS and passed away. But it's that's not what it was. It mm-hmm. was just a whole different situation. So when the incident didn't happen, when my father did pass, my mom, she was scared. Mm-hmm. And she up, packed up, left, and that's what it was. And then she was dealing with a lot of stuff herself just with his, his past and thinking that things was going to happen to us mm. um my mom got on drugs mm. and that's how i ended up getting in the, in the system with me oh, with my brothers and that's just how that life started Word. so started at a young age well you know yeah. let me just say my mom like she she always played everything anything music from the east coast to west coast rappers midwest everything but easy e was definitely one of the ones one of my favorites coming up you know, so just I'm I'm sure you listen to his music, right? Mm-hmm. So what was some of your favorite songs of his? My favorite song is Real Motherfucking G's. That's Real my favorite one. So that's my favorite one. The crazy thing is when my mom like she always told me who my dad was. Okay. I always seen pictures of him. She always mm-hmm. like your dad. This is your dad. This is your dad. But she never told me that my dad was Easy E. Really? Oh, Until I got older. Shit. Wow. She always How told me. I went you? to the movies and was like, hold <laughs> up. Wait a minute. Now she told NWA. Me. <laughs> Actually, um, my dad, well, it's a crazy story. My um, my uncle, I called my uncle's name is Rab. For my whole life until I was like maybe like 13, 14, I thought that was like my mama played brother. Um mm-hmm. Cause how he came around, he was always with my mom, so he always be like, "Oh, you look like E, you look like E," mm. and I'm just always like, "Okay, like he must have really knew my dad a little bit, but that was my mama brother, quote mm. unquote." When I got older, he ended up telling me I was actually your dad's best friend, mm. so he was like a mentee of my dad's and was like on the road moving work with my dad, um, and he just always kept me in his like corner all the time. So they never really was like, oh, your dad was easy. He did this. It was always like, your dad, Eric, was this type of man. He Eric. did these type yeah, of things. Yeah, because family, family and friends are going to talk to him as a person. Yeah, not, as a not a celebrity. celebrity. Right. Exactly. Right. Yeah. Right. So that's how I grew up. And then when, I don't know what happened. Um, I think he just, he was like, look, you too much like your dad. Hmm. And he was like, let me tell you what he really was that's about dope. as hmm. I got older. And that's then what's up. So that's what did he how tell was. you, like, as far as, like, some stuff that resonated with you that we might not know that you okay. kind, of ha- kind of have the same characteristic? So he's goofy. He's a prankster. He like he's <laughs> crazy. Like, he's all about having a good time. That gangster shit, that was what he was about mm-hmm. as far as that something had to be handled. Mm-hmm. But when it came down to, like, who he was to the people, he was a, a helper. Anytime he seen somebody in need, like, literally he could be in a grocery store and somebody was at the checkout line and, and didn't have the money. He he paying for it. Okay. And not like on oh, no, a man, I got you like like it's okay, cool. Don't say mm-hmm. nothing. Just let me go ahead and take care of you and we good. Mm-hmm. So that's just the type of man that he was and um people really don't talk about that. They just talk about him being <laughs> A gangster rapper, yeah. but he was way real much motherfucking more. Motherfucking <laughs> they be saying though, like when you a real gangster, like you don't gotta act like yeah, one. you ain't gotta. Act you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Be yourself. How'd that make you feel though, like finding out who he really was? Mm. It was cool, but then it was like, why am I here then? Why I'm not? That was that's what I started having issues with. My mom is like, mm. you know, I knew my father was, you know, he was gone. Mm-hmm. So when I was little, I knew that he wasn't on this earth anymore. But I didn't know that. She knew others, or you know, he know Dr. Dre. That was my first thing. Like, where, yeah. where Dr. Dre at? Where, where <laughs> I was like, with Dr. Like, Dre. Oh my like, God, <laughs> bro. So I'm like, okay. man, we struggling. Like, I literally, yeah. like, me and my mom and it's my crazy. brothers, like, we we was eviction to eviction, house to house. Like, when the sheriffs come knocking on the door, we got our shit in plastic bags because we supposed to be getting out. So mm-hmm. it's like, you know, thinking about I'm like, well, mommy, why you didn't like ask for nothing or why why we like this if that's the situation mm. so i was kind of upset with her because i felt like she didn't handle what she had to handle but then as i got older she was just trying to protect me because mm. once i started knowing and once others started knowing then it became a lot of a lot of trolling a lot of hate like mm. before instagram it was trolling like yeah. i was getting a lot of comments yeah just about just anything about yeah like it it, it it's get real especially when people think they know your situation so, so um, people love him. Yeah, because I don't want to make this all about easy. Of course but, not. But do you think, um, like, genetically, like, the rap is in you? 
the music is in you? Um, to be real, my daddy was a hustler. Yeah. So I don't look at him as like, right. oh my God, he's my favorite rapper. Because right. he really wasn't. If they y'all watched the movie, yeah. 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 he wasn't even a rapper. Yeah, he didn't about everybody though. But he was all about shit. If it makes sense, if it makes money, it makes sense. And that's just what he was. So he's going to do it if it makes sense and it's going to be beneficial to his family. So. I mean, rapping when he loved music, because mm-hmm. in my, my my grandma's house, like, we got pianos and all that stuff. Like, he loved music, but it wasn't like, I want to be that rapper. He was mm-hmm. more like, let me have a label, let me put the money behind. Right. But he just had that charisma, and it mm-hmm. just worked. So I can not say, like, the hustles in him, because I, hu- I hustle. Mm-hmm. Like, I can't talk, but I didn't hustle. <laughs> so it's like, that's in me, but when it comes down to music, music was something different for me than what it was for him. He's seen it as a... A way to make money music was an escape for me because all the stuff that I was going through it was like that's what made me stay focused and like want to be on this earth still because mm. I was man I'm telling you like I didn't have so many times as a little girl like why is all this going on for me because it wasn't just being homeless I didn't if you watch Lifetime it's every Lifetime story is what I have been through mm. so um it was just an escape so music is a little different but I, I mean we, we have a lot of similarities when it comes down to how we look my grandma just be like my demeanor is just like him which is crazy because i wasn't raised by him no i think that's inherited because it yeah. really be like that yeah. yeah when did you get into music by the way um when i well as far as like a recorded artist myself was like i started when i was like 18 19. Okay. um but music itself like i started out in the church my great grandma made me sing in front of everybody when i was like four years old <laughs> get up there yeah, yeah song yeah, exactly. we at home <laughs> <laughs> so that's how that went and I was just in a um, choir um, did chorus musical theater all that stuff okay. um, so yeah it's just been my whole life really I just always been interested in music I no. played the drums played the violin played okay. the piano I always wanted to learn how to I'm play surprised the drums. you like to do, do you know a lot of I know, I know. I, I, I just knew she was thinking about like, it, but I was I always wanted to learn how to play the drums. <laughs> that's what's up. Yeah, I played the snare drum. So, so. Uh, cool. talking about like the struggles you've been through, like what got to got you to where you are now and um you know, like focused on what you're doing and out of the, you know. Yeah, um, I can, I, I would say my son, to be real. Mm-hmm. When I had him, I was like, I can't do, and no shade to my mama, because I love my mama and she in my house right of now. Course, and, of I, course, and she holding course, it down for me right course. now, but it's, it's like, I couldn't be what my mom was. Of course. And yes. I wanted to be better, and, and my dad has a lot of kids, and, I, and not to say nothing in, in disrespect to my father either, but. I want to be that parent that was hands on, always with my mm-hmm. child, mm-hmm. had the best for my child, and um, he just motivated me. I was young, like I said, I was 16 when I had him, and I'm like, mm-hmm. everybody doubted me. They felt like that I ain't gonna make it. I graduated top of my class, what a okay. <laughs> Um And you know, I just like I gotta grind, and I gotta make sure that I level up every every year, and that's just how it's been. So each year, I haven't been set back to the point where I'm looking at the year like, damn. I'm, I fell back. Like, I may hit some little bumps and stuff, but I progress each year. Hey, we progress. all Progress, keyword. <laughs> Are you close with your siblings by chance? Or? Um, Some of them. It's 11 of us on my daddy's side. Then so I got like, four from my mama's side. So the ones on my mama's side, of course, I'm super right, close. Right, right, right. Um, but I do have siblings on my dad's side that I talk to on a regular basis. Mm. Some of them I don't. Um, But, again, that's just because we didn't kind of was raised together. True. Mm-hmm. I get and it. And it's just different <clears> for them. I mean... When it comes down to me, I'm just all about family. Like, of course, me too. At the end of the day, we eat together. We family after that. So I treat everybody the same way. But I guess, you know, growing up in Cali, they have a different lifestyle. They, they don't look at it like that. They West Coast people look different. They are different. different. They are different, for it, sure. It's a little different. Yeah. And, and, I mean, when your dad is a legendary artist and somebody coming in, because I wasn't raised with them, right. I didn't hit them up or know about them or, like, reach out to them till I was of age to mm. legally reach out to them. Mm. So, you know, they probably was looking at, like, what she want? Right, mm-hmm. right, right. You know what I'm saying? But to be real, none of us even got anything. Like, mm-hmm. that's straight out of Compton movie. Nobody got paid from that. Damn. Like, so what you think nothing. about that movie? Like, we're, like even just he- like, just even hearing that it's coming out, like, of course you going to Yeah, it go was dope. This, like, I was excited. Um, actually, um, the actor that played my dad, Jason Mitchell, he reached out to all the kids. Mm. Like, oh, he did dope. his research. And he killed he wanted, it. Yeah. He, killed yeah. It. he didn't look nothing like my dad, but yeah, he, he did acted it. like he, he represented shit. him so well. He did a really good job, but he did his research. I think he had the hardest role because mm-hmm. everybody else was living. And, facts, he, facts, and you can facts, go around facts. them, talk to them, try to mimic how they are. But he didn't have the opportunity. He had to watch videos. He had to ask us questions. Like, he literally called in the middle of the night. You know what he liked to eat? 
And I had to ask my mommy, mommy, what did you used to tell me? What do you like to That's eat? That's dope. TGIF, right? Okay. So I had to tell him. So he had to, you know, he had to try to live, like, really study him to be wow. him. So I think dope. the movie was really good. Of course, they didn't really give all the true facts. Of course. But it's Hollywood. You got to make the movie how the movie got Did you learn well, anything some, about oh, it? My bad. You said did I learn anything? Through the anything movie? New? Nah. Pretty much everything that was on there, I already had okay. information on. So What yeah. wasn't true? The way that he passed, the timelines, the money situations. Like, them folks was coming after his money. He wasn't broke. When he okay. passed away, people was... When people pass away and they're rich, they people come to the courts and say, Oh, he owed me this, he owed me that. Mm-hmm. Like, my stepmama, Tamika, she was in the courts back to back every single day, pregnant and all. And making sure that they wasn't taking all, you know, all my dad's money. But he, he he didn't die he didn't die broke. Okay, so let's make that clear. <laughs> so so talk about growing up hip hop Atlanta. I, I watched that show. I, I did. <laughs> I did. Damn, and I, I'm and like, oh yeah. And well, I the thing is, like, um, I actually I'm I'm actually behind a couple of episodes, but I I do like growing up hip hop Atlanta. I thought you was a great addition to the show, Thank you. and I thought it was you know very interesting just to you know that you were on the Atlanta part. Or the Atlanta show Not as opposed to the L.A., you know mm-hmm. what I mean? So talk about just getting linked in with that. And, you know. Well, let me ask you a question. What you thought about me from what you've seen? Don't the lie. Don't lie. lie. Do I'm not lie because I need this. I only, walked, I only watched the episode um, number five. So, like I said, I'm behind. Oh, damn. I, I know. know was I know. I know. I know. But no, I liked you, was, you on, on that was on one a few. episode. Um, I, oh. I thought it was interesting that you came in. Like I said, I think I still need to watch the other episodes to see. The the you know the ending of how you were introduced. Mm-hmm. You seem like you not cool. happy. You weren't portrayed the right way. It was cool, but at the okay. same time, a I can see say your that. frustrations. I but see with me, like I said, I always looked up to Easy E, so I think with me, I was more Just empathetic. Yeah. yeah. So it was kind of different from my perspective, but I can kind of see how like. Your, your character was kind of brought on strong, but it's, I understand it's TV, so, it's reality. So, how, 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 how did it make you look? Down. Yeah, how yeah, did it make you look? Because we ain't seen it, so how did it make you look? They made it seem like I was entitled, like I was like this diva bitch, and I'm like totally not that. Right. So, that really made me max. It was like, let the world decide how they feel about me, about who I actually am. Because some people are not going to like you. You can be the best person on the earth, mm-hmm. and people are like, oh, I don't like that person. Yeah. And I'd rather people decide off of that and then them trying to control the narrative to say, like, well, she's always late and she's always mm. doing this and she don't, um, she, like, it's just, I don't know. So I don't want to dog them, but it's. But I'll be feeling like, because I haven't seen it, so I can't really talk too much, but, like, they can only do so much of narrating your character other than the stuff that's shown. You would think. So, like, you would think oh, what that, is it, like the green screens like what is not it even that? that it's not that so anything that come out my mouth yeah it was never like flaw okay but then what they would do they would chop it and then they would make it seem like either i didn't say shit yeah or i only said something Damn. oh enough. yeah so it's like it's, if it seems it. like i didn't have my boyfriend with me and they got us arguing but he mm. in the next scene with me and they cut him out to make it seem like we ain't even like together no more. Mm. Yeah. So it's like he, he was sit on the couch like, wow. Like <laughs> we was literally walking. We in. made up that night. <laughs> exactly. I didn't even meet so <laughs> arguing. So, so what do you think about um TV? Because I know it can hurt and help your career. Right. Um, sometimes it helps people's career career, but hurts their personal life. Yeah. Right. Um, what do you think about it? And we hear a lot about it uh, with love and hip hop, but maybe yeah. growing up. Hip-hop. Um, personal life, everybody know that I'm solid. Like my whole team and, and anybody that know me, just because I've been in the streets and I just always been the same way. Um, so they know who I am. So they kind of made them mad. It was folks like, man, I'm finna come get at the brat. And I'm like, nah, you can't do that. <laughs> not the really brat. Her. That's funny. Because <laughs> it ain't it ain't even her neither. It's like yeah. the editors and stuff. Yeah. So it's like you can't do that. But um. So my my personal life was cool, and anything that I found out, if I knew anything prehand, I let people know. <coughs> mm. So um, they knew what was going on. But when it comes down to like, I guess being on TV and like the only thing, only thing I could say personally was it, it really kind of hurt my feelings is as far as how they tried to portray me because I thought that we was all on one page. And you get played. That's what a lot of people say. And yeah. you don't see it till it airs. You don't see it till it airs. Right. So, I, so I was like, I would be getting mad, and my boyfriend would be like, "It's okay." I'm like, "It's not okay. It ain't yeah. you. It's me." Yeah. Like, yeah. So it, that's the only thing that I could say that it kind of stirred up stuff at home, just because I was like, "That ain't me." Like, I'm mm-hmm. not flawed. Like, I would never be flawed. Like, I live by that. So that was hard. But do you think it helped? 
Listen, I didn't got some. I didn't got some free. Let me tell you, I didn't got some free shit. Okay, okay. Uh-huh. let me tell you. So, and it's sad. Look, we need to know. <laughs> free shit always do. Okay, <laughs> look, now, what deals like, we got? Is, not even that. <laughs> like it'd be like pity shit. That'd be like, damn, this shit is sad. Like I didn't. Wait. I was um leaving a fashion show for my homeboy. Um, and I was like, I'm thirsty, but nothing's open by where I live at. So I was like, well, the only thing open was cookout. So I went to cookout, I got cookout. me a shake. And I was like, well, maybe I'll give me some little mm. cheese bites. Got me some cheese bites. <laughs> okay. I roll up to the window and I'm handing my card to the lady and she goes, oh, you don't got to pay. I said, <laughs> I said, why? She was like, oh, oh, some guy paid for you. He just, That's he, hard. He, he said he was going to take care of you because he felt bad for you. Oh, damn. oh, oh like, hell no. Nah. I was like, dang. I was like, what like, you know what I hate? Hey, how they made you wings. look on that show? Let me buy your wings for you. <laughs> So then I um I was like okay so she gave me my food or whatever and um when damn. I was driving off the car was still there and he was like roll down the window <laughs> and I was like oh damn I'm like, he gonna now you guys like say like, so oh, we Lord. so then I rolled down the window he was like I just want to tell you I'm so sorry how they doing you on the show like wow. That's I can sense crazy. I've been I've been following you I can sense you genuine da, da, da. Mm. That so is crazy. I just want to make sure you were straight. You straight? Yeah. Like, yeah. I'm like, nigga, no. <laughs> Lunch I want a uh, dinner two as well. <laughs> he was not <laughs> tender. He was not taking care of me at uh, cookout. Okay, <laughs> let's make that clear. That's good. Right. And some people still so, can read that you're a good person. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry. So it's a catch twenty two. Cause I, I get some people like, you should have did the boot camp. Like y'all watch mm. and it's, it's BS behind that too. But I'm like, bro, y'all don't understand. Like all this shit. Like it's not scripted, but it's kind of like manipulated. Yeah. Okay. What what's one what's one misconception that you would like to address? I'm just real shit. I ain't okay. I'm humble. Like it ain't, I ain't never been nothing other than that. So that's the biggest thing is that I I ain't, I ain't entitled at all. I ain't never had shit to be entitled. Straight okay. up. <laughs> so I'm trying to get it now. What's something that's important for you? You know, just just moving forward with your career and just your personal life too. What's 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 important? Um, definitely just building good relationships. Um, that I, I see in the industry a lot. It's a lot of snake moves that, that happen. It's awful. And and that's what anything TV, music. I just, I see it in every avenue. And and you know I just I just want my relationships to be genuine. So I pray to God all the time to keep me mm-hmm. humble, um, keep me in the right positions, put me in the proper positions to help others, and just see things for what it is. And um, you know not get blinded by the opportunities or anything like that. So. That's really big for me. It's just stay focused. Got gotcha. you. And what's up with your music? Right. So I just dropped a single um, produced by 30 Rock. Hey. Are you you drop it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, he the homie. Okay. Yeah. He that's dope. what it is. I've been, I've been cool with him for a long time. He's very talented. Yes. And um, he just came to me one day was like, look, bro, you fire. We we got to do a tape. Fire. That's yeah. what's up. Some ATL shit like a motherfucker. Right. So he was like, we got to do something. So we just got in the studio locked in. And then he introduced me to London J. And London J is a writer. One and of I, the best writers. One of the best writers, for real, for real. And, and I write all my own music, like, from day one I have. But when I met him, you can't deny a genius. Mm-hmm. Like, so Dirty he was like, look, sis, let's, let's collab together. So he get the hook down, and I get the verse down. We Duh. just boom, boom, boom. And he's he's amazing. That nigga hard. Yeah, he he's crazy. He's mm-hmm. mental though. He from Cleveland ass, so he kind of <laughs> throw it off. You gotta be a little throw it off. <laughs> yeah, that, that. To hit that peak, you gotta yeah, be you a gotta be a little crazy. throw it off. But he's very talented as well. So right mm-hmm. now I'm promoting that um, single ape shit. Okay. okay. But I'm just gonna start dropping music. Just it's time for boom, that. Boom. I think you should. Yeah. I think it's time for that. And then you're doing media and interviews. You know, what I mean, it's time for all that. So definitely just keep working on building your personal brand. You know. Uh, but one final question we want to ask you: What does the word progress mean to you? We talk about growth, getting better, progression, all that good shit. So, what does it mean to you? Like I said, each year, like I just get better and better, and um, I think it's with God too. Like my relationship with God has just continued to grow, and I just been cr- progressing that way with Him. And I think that with me progressing with God, it's just I've been hitting every mark that I want to hit. Like anything that I put my mind to, is I get it done. Mm. So, um, I mean, it's important. Progression is 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 part of consistency and that's how you make it you're right yeah dope man yeah it's been great we yeah, appreciate you. your energy thank you yes stuff. yes um let the people know where they can find you on social media all right cool where the camera at we right there everywhere <laughs> everywhere y'all can find me on twitter instagram <coughs> facebook all that stuff at i am remarkable that's r-e-e-m-a-r-k-a-b-l-e it's the progress support y'all yeah yeah